Okay, this is a better video. I just picked up this tram D201A. Radio's clean. Here it is. Now, what's cool about this radio? It's got a frequency counter. It only works when you transmit. There is a mod to make it actually work when you receive to, but that's not done on it. I'd have to look into how it's done. Now, if you put the amplifier on, these meters are... There's an amp in this radio, by the way. These meters are red. If you... This is off, and this is non-amplified with the switch down. Non-amplified. And then you have this over here. So that's for that, and that's for that. Now, I actually forgot what that switch does. He explained it to me. And it's a 40-channel radio. Well, you know, it's kind of hard to see that in the camera, but it's there. You know, you really can't see the meters too good. Maybe you see them in red a little better. The meters are there, and the channels are there. They're very clean. Now, here's the cool thing, what's inside this radio. Here's the size of the radio. It was a clean, let me tell you, this guy did it with a clean tram. I mean, he really did. He did this with a clean tram radio. Which some people might say that's a shame, but you know what? If you're going to put that many hours into doing what he did to this radio, you know what? You might as well start with a clean base. Maybe it was a non-working tube radio, and he said, you know what? I'll just use this clean this clean uh, frame to start my work. Now, what he did was he put in a mobile radio inside here. Even the top is clean. So I'll show you what he did. No more tubes, no more guts. But he put in a mobile radio, took the front off, and he actually got everything working. Oh, and that switch was the channel 19 switch. So it goes to channel 19, so I'm believing that this is a Cobra 29 inside here. And then he's got a little four-pill amplifier built in here with the power supply over here. So you got your power supply over here that's going to run this amplifier. And I wonder what kind of amp it is. Let me see what it, what it says on there. Maybe someone, I'm sure one of you guys know what this is. I can't read it upside down. Gray? It says gray on it. It's a gray amp. It says t 10 gray. Or, no. I don't know what it says on it. But he's got relays hooked up in here. See the relays to make the lights change? There's your amplifier section. There's your CB section. I mean, it could have been a little bit neater, but you know what? How crazy are you going to get with this thing? This guy did a lot of work on this to do this. And he didn't do a bad job at all. He didn't do a bad job. Look, there's a couple of LEDs here. I wonder where those go. They don't look like they went anywhere. I guess they're just kind of sitting there. I would have maybe tried to move those LEDs. I would have put them on the front somewhere. See the two lit LEDs right here? Transmit and receive. I probably would stick them... Now that I see that, I may actually try to move those. I could probably do something with them. I mean, I don't know where. I wouldn't want to drill out the radio. But you could do something with them. Transmit and receive lights. I'd have to figure out what to do with those. But they're pretty cute. And the radio's it's a clean little radio. And, uh, and that's it. There's amp on, amp off. And that's that. Now I just got to figure out what to uh i gotta figure out what what microphone is gonna go in this thing i gotta see what i what i don't even know how it's wired right now um i mean i, I would think like a standard cobra but maybe maybe not we'll find out i hope you guys enjoyed this video with a custom tram d201 that other video i had of it was when i first got it in and I unboxed it. The meter was loose. I managed to get that back in pretty easily. Now i got to go downstairs and test it, which I didn't even do yet. But it is a 400-watt radio. I saw the video he sent me. So this thing will do 400 easy on AM. And that ain't bad. You know, and it does a 12 on uh, without the amp.